Okay, things keep popping up around here that I thought you should know about. You take a look at this lift truck. It's an antique. We've had it around here for a long time. It's been about uh, 15 years. We've used it with no serious trouble. Many, many years ago, I replaced a broken gear and the transmission with it lost a tooth. Nothing very serious. This is the sort of stuff that I used to do in my sleep when I was a kid. But we had the other day, we went to start it, and the, it would start. And we could hear the starting motor going, and nothing would happen. We thought, it, first of all, it was a bad battery, but it wasn't. It turns out that the, the, the throwout and the start, starting motor wasn't throwing out the way it should be, and the gears were not in, engaging the flywheel. So what I did was I crawled underneath it, as you can see, pulled the thing out. Now that took, it was a bit of a nightmare because the uh, motor was in such a place that you couldn't possibly get it out without dismantling the linkages to the rear steering. And I turned and tried to do that and it was no luck whatsoever. So I got mad. I took a saber saw and cut the damn thing in half. What I'm going to do is put a sleeve over it when I put it back together again. It'll be just fine. But here's the motor. As it came out, the, 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 the gear here, here, was, was, was staying, was, it was back. It would stay back. And when we uh, boost it with power, this is direct jump off, of, off the motor, off the uh, battery. Now you can see what we did is that was going back and forth the way it's supposed to. You see that? When I first tested it, it just stayed back. It wouldn't throw forward. Then I talked to Cedric about it. And I said, my goodness me, that thing just needs lubrication. So we took it outside, cleaned it up with some, some uh, mineral spirits, took it back here and painted it with lightning grease, which is a very superior grease that we make here. And we painted it in all over everything out there. And as you can see, the gear is throwing back and forth exactly the way it's supposed to right now. See that? Isn't that nice? Oh, the battery's getting a little low. Right, there we go. So what we're saying is that we saved First place, the motor's got no identification to speak of on it. We'd have to send it out for a rebuild, and they wouldn't do much more than put it when it was lubricated back in place. Of course, it's probably a couple hundred dollars on an old machine like this. So what we've done is save the price of a starting motor by the liberal application of, of lightning grease to a part that was basically sticky. So it's a good thing to keep in mind that a lot of these machines can run forever, but they do have to be lubricated. And this one wasn't.